Every brother Let's call it in the crossfire I'm pretty sure not a lot of people had been looking forward to this movie and some people are more scared of it because Toy Story 3 left off in a really fashionable manner with a fantastic ending that brought a lot of people who loved the franchise to tears and so this movie had a lot to live up to in its hands and it needed to be just more than a good movie. It needed to be a great one. It needed to sell its ending. It needed to sell its characters. And I could happily say that this movie succeeds in all the levels. In fact, this movie is much better than what I thought it was going to be. Of course, the animation is going to be fantastic. And it's going to be great to see Tim Allen and Tom Hanks back as Woody and Buzz. But still... This movie somehow managed to have great pacing, great themes, and great storytelling within itself and not be just a copy and paste sequel of other movies. And it was actually able to find its own voice. And Bo Peep and some newer characters we meet actually do have character. They serve a purpose to the story. They aren't the most complex. But they served a good portion of the movie, and I really love what they did with many of the new characters, including Key and Peel as Ducky and Bunny. These characters were funny, and I really love what ever screen time they had together. And Duke Kaboom by Keanu Reeves, that man, is honestly one of the best characters in the film. He stole the show for me. I loved him. And Bo Peep, I love what they did with her. She never annoyed me. They never changed her into like a feminist character that just gets in her nerves. She's actually a character with flaws. And uh, I relate to her in many ways. And Well, not really relate to her. I understand her character is what I'm trying to say. And so, I really like what they did with Bo Peep in this film, and I really found her a more complex character than in the previous two films she was in, where she was kind of stellar in the background, and only one note. Here, she had a lot more to do, and I really like what they did with her. And Woody, and Buzz, and the rest of the gang, like Jesse, Rexy, they were great, though the other characters except for Woody and Buzz don't have much screen time. In fact, they probably have the least amount of screen time and I find that kind of underwhelming because I really like those characters. But then again, this movie is more about these newer characters and not much of the old. And besides, not like they're the most complex characters. Like, they're in the background, they do serve a purpose, but they're not like so character driven. Like, Rexy, what He's not really a, a shillingless character level of writing. So, obviously, I can understand why these guys are in the background. But still, it would have been cool to see more of them. And Buzz Lightyear, in my opinion, had the least interesting character arc. Like, he got like a little dumber. So I do really enjoy his moments and stuff in the film. And I do understand why they did some of the things with his character. I just feel like they could have done something a little bit different to make him more involved within the story. Because he is one of the main characters in this movie. So I would have done some things differently. But he wasn't annoying or anything. So I can forgive that. But as for issues, those are like my only two complaints. Woody, played by Tom Hanks, is absolutely amazing in this movie. I loved his theme of identity and finding something within himself again. And it never felt like a copy and paste moment from the other movies. It felt new and felt much more earned and felt like something that this character is finding out about himself more and more. And so I really like that about Woody and I really love what he did with him and his relationship with Bo Peep 
and his chemistry with Sporky. I really loved the moment where he's just talking with Sporky while they're just walking down the road. This is like one of my favorite moments in the film because it's just two characters talking, yet Josh Cooley was able to find a way to make it entertaining. And so I love it. Overall, Toy Story 4 was a great franchise-ending film. It is way better than I thought it was going to be. It's not a perfect movie, but man, it surprised the hell out of me. And I'm pretty sure that if you love the last three films, you're really going to love this one. And overall, I just say, Pixar, thank you for not just making a copy and paste sequel. And overall, I have to say, Toy Story 4 gets an A. That actually rhymed. I <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Anyway, guys, go see the movie. It's great. You're really going to enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. So heaven if you sent us down. So we can build a